Welcome back. The annual Camels Film Festival set to go March 1st through 10th. Coming up uh, pretty quickly here, that's in just over a month. Uh, Dushan Magdalene, Sam Numson joining us. They are both with the film festival. President, marketing guy, how are you guys? Chair, right. but yes, good. Chair, president. Chair, okay, whatever. we'll call you chair. As long as you call him. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's right. right. Okay, so how are you guys today? Great, yeah, Good. we're very excited. Are you excited about the film festival? How many films being shown this year? I think uh, we've got a couple to figure out, but I think it's going to be 22. Okay. Plus, uh, plus a bunch of shorts, because we've got our Kiss Fest, and there's shorts that play uh, in front of our movies. So, you know, all in total, it gets up there. Okay, uh, are we seeing all kinds of genres, all kinds of types of films uh, this yeah, year? Yeah, we try and represent as much as we can. Um, comedies are always in high demand, so we, we've tried to put in... Uh, as many good ones as we could find uh, of those, but yeah, definitely do documentary, um, drama, a little bit sort of towards the action end, and then we've got Dark Fest uh, with three films this year uh, uh, to get the horror genre in there. All right, Dark Fest is your favorite. Uh, I don't know if it's my favorite, but there are always uh, there's always it's just so different that mm -hmm. it's that it's always exciting to me. Mm -hmm. All right, Sam. How are things going on your end? Things Is are it... going really well, yeah. So yeah. I'm part of the marketing subcommittee, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm also part of a new committee this year, the community engagement uh, subcommittee. So we're really looking at opportunities to, in, in, I guess, engage the community a little more yes. and reach out and increase our reach a little bit. So um, in addition to um, the uh, Film for a Cause, which we have every year, we're, we're doing two this year. So there's okay. going to be two films for a cause. Um, we're partnering with the SPCA this year and also the Elizabeth Fry Society. So uh, those evenings are, are opportunities for members of the public to come and actually bring some items for uh, the organizations that we're supporting that evening. So nice. people can come and bring some food um, or some, some pet food, pardon me, or some pet supplies for the SPCA. And then mm -hmm. for Elizabeth Fry were supporting Lizzie's Closet, which is their program they have there for women in need, so women can actually come and uh, take clothing for free. So um, we're mm -hmm. encouraging the community members who attend on those evenings to bring some items for those charities. So that's awesome. Yeah, and then we're hoping to also partner with some local organizations uh, and nonprofits to do sort of a co host screening for some of these nights as yes. well. So the different organizations that have interest in some of the films that we're screening will attend and sort of do an info sharing night for their organization as Which well. Which is awesome. Mm -hmm. That's great. It's win win all the way around. Absolutely. So out of all these 22 films and the other little uh, the short films, everything else, uh, we're, we're going to check out a couple of films today. Uh, the trailers too. The first one, Shut Up and Say Something. Tell me a little bit about this one, Dushan. Yeah, so sh sh yeah, Shut Up and Say Something uh, focuses on a popular uh, poet, a slam poet, uh, Shane Coison. So he's a Canadian. He um, is from the Northwest Territories but grew up in Penticton. Um, and this is a documentary, a Canadian documentary, that, that kind of uh, recalls a bit of his, his prior successes up to this point mm -hmm. and also um, sets him on a journey where he's sort of rediscovering his past, uh, a void that he's identified in his life, and it includes connecting with some of his family. Okay, let's take a quick look. Remember how we forgot... Remember how no one ever really died in the wars we fought? Cause each gunshot came from our fingertips. Can I interest you in some poetry, perhaps? My flag is a traffic light, and at night it glows red, amber, and green, and I've seen them everywhere, so I guess in that sense, the road really is my home. There are maybe five people who are actually famous for being spoken word artists. He gets to be one of those. Vancouver? Vancouver guy? I think he lives in Vancouver now. Yeah. Um, he grew up in Penticton, and, and what's really cool about Shane is he actually, some of you might recognize him, he performed at the opening ceremonies at the 2010 Olympics, mm. um, and he, he's got quite a following. And um, mm. this is also gonna, gonna open our, our film festival on Thursday, March 1st, and mm -hmm. um, we'll be followed by a Q&A with the director and uh, writer. That's nice. W w will a lot of them be followed by a Q&A of sorts? Uh, four of them, yeah. For four okay. of them, we, ha we have guests, uh, guests in town to, to do a Q&A and, nice. and connect. Which, uh, you know, we try and bring in as many as we can, but obviously budget and people's time yes. uh, sort of limits that. But we're pretty sure. excited to have f four films with uh, yeah, filmmakers okay. and, and some actors as well. All right, so this one kicks off Film Fest. Uh, again, shut up and say something. Uh, obviously, that one's going to be probably pretty popular. Mm -hmm. uh, the other one we're talking about today is In the Fade. What's that one about? Um, there, there's sort of a, a woman lo loses her son and her husband um, and um, uh, under sort of t terrorist uh, circumstances and, and sort of the trial that follows that and sort of her emotional journey through that and it, it won the, the Best uh, Actress Award at uh, Cannes and it won the Golden Globe for Best Foreign Language Film as well. Okay. So uh, we're excited to have that one. Let's take a peek. 
A true story, or uh, I don't think so. But obviously, you know, it's pulling themes from oh, from yeah. the headlines, right? Sure. Um, yeah, it's powerful stuff. Yeah, this looks like a very powerful one. Where does this one run in the lineup? Uh, so this one's actually going to be on International Women's Day on Thursday, March eighth. Okay. Uh, and that's also the day that we're partnering with Elizabeth Fry um, to, you know make all those connections. Yes, with uh, Lizzie's Closet, or I forgot what it was called. Yes. Lizzie's Closet, you got it. Yeah, I think that's awesome. Uh, that looks like a really good one, too, mm -hmm. hey? Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be so many of them. Um, how does it work? We've got about a minute and a half. Uh, you can buy a full festival pass. You can buy a booklet of 10, I think. Uh, uh, tell us how it works. Yeah, so we've got, yeah, full festival passes, which uh, there's always a handful of people that uh, take a chance on those. Uh, then you can do a 10 film pass, you can do a 5 film pass, uh, and then we have a Dark Fest pass uh, as well, so you can go to all three Dark Fest films uh, at a discounted rate, plus you get to wear the cool passes, which is, you know, part of the fun. Right. Um, uh, but uh, one of the things I also wanted to mention that we're very excited about is uh, Kiss is Back. So, uh, you know, local uh, TNRD filmmakers can enter that on February 22nd. But leading into that on February 10th, um, again, out of this uh, community engagement committee, we're, we're doing a workshop uh, in uh, collaboration with Mastermind Studios for young filmmakers. So it's kind of a, a f basics in filmmaking workshop that we're very excited about. And, and uh, people are signing up real quick for that. So you can, you can go to our website and That's sign up awesome. for that as well. Great opportunity. It's a great deal, too. I think it's only 20 bucks, right? That's it's good. $20 for the whole day and lunch is included because uh, Thompson Nicola Film Commission has, has covered lunch. That's so awesome. That's great. And then Kisses Back, Camel's Independent Short Shorts. Is that what that that's stands right. for? Uh, people can learn more about that online as well if they're interested that's in right. learning yeah. more about that. You had a great memory with this one, hey? Thank you. Well, we've been covering it for a few years now. <laughs> a couple of years. Thank you for being here, the both of you. Yeah, Thanks, it's going to be great. Not so far much. along mm -hmm. at all from now. March 1st to March 10th, Camel's uh, Film Festival. If you'd like to check out the full lineup of the different films being screened, you can certainly do that at Camel's. Filmfest.ca. We're back after a quick break. Stay with us.